Look what we have here. It's BMW's flagship, the 7 Series sedan. But this 2018 740e xDrive iPerformance is not like most 7s you're familiar with. And that's because it's a plug-in hybrid, building on the 740's luxury amenity with a big old battery and a healthy dose of electrified efficiency. But does that extra fuel economy come at the cost of performance? Well, let's hit the road and I'll show you. Now the plug-in hybrid trades the 7 Series 3.0-liter inline-6 for a smaller 2.0-liter inline-4. It's still turbocharged, it outputs 255 horsepower by itself, but it's joined by an electric motor that adds 111 horsepower to the party. Now together they make 322 horsepower because hybrid math, but what's most interesting is their combined 369 pound-foot torque figure. That's 47 pound-feet more than the gasoline version, and that goes a long way towards making up for the fact that this car weighs 400 pounds more than the gasoline version. Now that bigger battery pack can be plugged in and recharged to add something like 12 to 14 miles of electric range onto the front end of any trip. BMW says it takes like 2.7 hours to recharge, but I've never had it take more than two. And that's because with a plug-in hybrid, your battery's never really at zero, no matter what the meter says. So it's gonna take a little bit less time than you might think to recharge. Now for those first 14 miles, you're looking at something like 67 miles per gallon equivalent. And after that, the number is gonna drop down to 37 MPG combined. That's only like four miles per gallon more than the non-hybrid version, so I'm definitely gonna recommend that you plug this thing in at least once a day. Now, you don't really feel the extra weight through the acceleration because you've got extra torque, but 400 pounds is nothing that can bend the laws of physics. You've basically got a lot of weight at the back of this vehicle, and that's gonna change the weight distribution somewhat, though interestingly, it does pull it closer to the 50-50 desired weight split that you want for good handling but it's still, you can feel it when you're in corners with body roll and lean and squat and dive and things like that. BMW fixes a little bit of it with adaptive dampers, but you can't really bend the laws of physics there. Then again, nobody really buys a 7 Series, a car of this size for the driving dynamics. You're typically looking for something comfortable and quiet. And the hybrid system more than adds comfort and quiet to this package, partially because sometimes the engine's not running, but also because it basically adds a little bit of electric torque, which makes the acceleration feel a little bit more effortless when you do something like go to pass. Overall, I think the hybrid system is actually worth the investment, but let's talk about how much more of an investment it's gonna be. The 2018 BMW 740e xDrive i Performance has a very long name and a really big price tag. It starts at 90,700 bucks, but that's only like $4,600 more than the non-hybrid 740i with all-wheel drive. Using the EPA's numbers and doing a bit of back of the envelope math, I'm thinking best case scenario, we're looking at a year and a half to two years for that hybrid system to pay for itself, which save fuel. But that's only if you plug in regularly, which I recommend you do. But this is a Beamer, so you know that starting price ain't where we ended up. With all of the driver aid features and a couple of luxury upgrades, this example tips the scale at 99,845 bucks. That's right, a hundred grand. And for that kind of money, subjectively, I'm a bit more of an S-Class guy, but I digress. But if you're sold on the Beamer, you can rest well knowing that the hybrid system isn't that much more of an investment and it doesn't really affect the performance all that much. If you're interested in a 740i, it's definitely worth a second look at this plug-in. So that's my two cents, but I want to know what you think. Is the hybrid system worth the extra investment? Let us know down in the comments below. And while you're there, give us a subscription and visit us over on theroadshow.com for even more cool automotive videos.